Thanks for visiting FPC Virtual, the place for apps, tutorials, and technology tips. What's up? What's going on, folks? Hopefully, y'all folks can hear me. I don't even know if y'all can hear me, but I've been having some audio issues with this tool. And uh, it's all good, though. You know, it's something that you got to deal with and, you know, just to move on. Um, I like this actual set that I have. I don't know if y'all folks like this set. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to be teaching y'all folks how to create all this stuff, like I've been saying. And here goes another ver uh, view right here. Maneuver myself over to the side so y'all folks can check it out. I'm using my iPod Touch to play around with the actual um, my PC. My PC is in the other room because, well, I don't want that background noise, you know, where it got all that fan noise and all that stuff that ends up tending to clog up your actual audio. So if you want to work on that, basically get an extended USB cable, get multiple USB connectors or whatever, and then connect that to your webcam, and then put your actual PC in a different room, and then get a remote desktop for your Google Chrome, Google Chrome remote desktop, and you have to set it up through using your actual mobile device app, the Chrome uh, desktop app, remote desktop app off of your mobile device whether it's an iOS device or an Android device and you gotta set it up off of Google Chrome's web browser and I'll show y'all guys or gals that tutorial eventually uh, where's the mouse the only thing that's hard is this mouse and I'll get rid of this background so y'all guys or gals don't see that weird looking stuff now you can see through it look at that pretty cool right because it's a white background or no, no it's a green green background I'm using a green screen so that's how I'm able to do all of this stuff. Next scene. I should be able to press the buttons one, two, three, four, five or whatever, do hot keys, you know, quick keys, but it's all good. And then turn this way. And then I can be talking about that screen up there. But I can't really point that far. I can be like, you know, see that stuff right there? Yada yada. You know, that's really cool, right? Interesting thing that happened today. What do y'all think? And then turn my face a little bit over here and you know look like I'm doing something on the desk or whatever this is not a real desk obviously it's a virtual desk so then I'll go to the next scene and then show y'all folks a more close-up you know view whatever you don't see the chair behind me right but it gives the illusion that I'm actually closer up and there goes that screen again right pretty cool right so if y'all folks can hear this, hopefully you can hear it. If you can't hear it, then I don't know what to say, man. It's kind of messed up because I tried to work it out so that you could hear everything. But let's see. Let's see what happens. Thanks a lot for watching. Please do hit the thumbs up if y'all guys like my virtual set. Draw love and peace to all. And I'll see you in the next tutorials. Um, the, the tutorials I'm going to be doing is showing y'all folks how to create this. So that's basically all it is. Not much else to this video. But um, yeah, what you're gonna need, you're gonna need a green screen in order to perform this actual setup. You're going to need um, a green screen or a blue screen. Right now I'm using actual, actually a poncho. This is a Six Flags poncho that we got maybe years ago. I don't know when or whoever got it. I found it inside my sunroom and the, all of the junk that we got out here in the sunroom. <laughs> we usually use it as a more like a storage type of room and I turned the sunroom into more like an office, a virtual office. So I'm using our desk, this is a desk here, holding up um, the webcam through an actual old monitor. So that's basically what I'm doing with that. And then I used, I used the OBS broadcaster software, or open broadcaster software, I should say. OBS is the acronym for it. And, um, it's really a cool actual tool to, to make, make things, things work. So you, you can, can do multiple scenes and you can plug in different sources into multiple scenes. Whether you want to use a photo image or audio or webcams as your camera source or video source. Um, you can use text. You can do um, all kinds of different things. So it's really interactive and it's fun. And hopefully, y'all folks pretty much want to use it. We'll see.
I'll, I'll catch you next time, Mike you sign off. And that's all I got. If y'all want to learn more or whatever, please do subscribe to my channel. Please do hit the thumbs up. And that's it. Peace. tour as to what Sue is about, how Sue works, and what Sue really is. Sue, T-S-U, is a social network pretty much. And like Facebook, Google+, Pinterest, Twitter, and all the other social networks all across the online world, Sue works very similarly when it comes to posting up photos, communicating through comments, liking locations, sharing,